kushukuru sana bwana kwa kumponya binti yangu aliyeugua kichano pia ninakushukuru kwa sababu kijana huyu alionyesha upendo wa ajabu nilipomwambia achana na mwanangu wa kufai tena yeye alijibu nishampenda nitawa hivyo hivyo sijawaiyo na upendo kama huu sijawaiyo na upendo kama huu amazing amazing stuff hey, thank Abby. you as promised abinguma is in studio yes uh such a talent thank you baba uh hey big boss <laughs> a top producer top presenter Azanza. top singer songwriter Azanza, what can you do uh, is there uh, name one thing you I can, can do i can do all things through him <laughs> <laughs> i had a feeling you'd say that you know yeah uh, i mean i believe you should do just if we have a chance to find a kitu fanya just try it out yeah yes yes i want to say maga just try something once at least once yes, you never know sir. what could happen you never know you might just like it like music for instance uh, did you always know you had the bug because i uh, you you were raised in coast yes did you always know that you had the bug your yeah, music am you had the talent am is mm. it just something you tried out well i i come from a very musical family um my uh, my parents they are musical you know my siblings no musical so ilikuwa tu hapo you know it was just there mm. you know like music was all of us in the air so yes, to speak everywhere like yeah. when when you when you're talking to your parents when you're eating there's always music like uh. so music was a big part of our family so i wouldn't say that nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa nasema najua nataka kuwa musician nilikuwa mkubwa no mm. of course like any other child nilikuwa nataka pia kuwa daktari nataka kuwa lawyer but music was constantly there mm. so eventually when you grow up and you start following your dreams and chasing your dreams you just go for it mm. and here i am and yeah. here you are yes, sir. Uh, who influenced you way back when in coast when you were younger because i believe uh, you recorded your first track in uh, around 2007 yes 2007 i'd already i'd recorded an album even before mm. um it was under a label a label in mombasa but unfortunately the album ilena to story so when i finished high school nikakuja nika meet msanii kwa daddy q daddy q ndo alinipatia another chance ya kufanya one song yote yote nilikuwa nilikuwa naishi yote bana nilikuwa na come all the way wala unajua mombasa nilikuwa natoka rada kuna ocha in mombasa yes yes i thought mombasa was like you know ah kama unaishi mombasa hapo ndio mombasa is a desert country yes kama unaishi island ndio unaishi mombasa but kama unaishi mainland huko nje ukivuka ferry ama ukitoka out of the out of mombasa basi mm. wewe unaishi ocha yeah. so mimi nilikuwa naishi kule south coast mm. so i used to come all the way to kunda you know record there you know hapo ndo nilianza tu kupata nikaanza tu kumitwa few people nikaanza kumitwa sani kidogo pale then you know pole pole tu one thing led to another yes or again, seven happened yeah, how am. did that track do sorry how did that track do uh, the reception not, not well uh. did badly ilikuwa mbaya mzee like <laughs> i think <laughs> Basi unajua ukiwa uki studio na ukiwa mnafanya ngoma na wasanii ama mnafanya muziki ama maybe you are coming up with a new thing at that time you, you in the moment una feel ah hii inaweza this is it eh, i love the next day una skills wanoja hapa nilikuwa tunadanganya iko chini so uh, i tried pushing it it didn't it didn't do well mm. so kidogo nika and then pia nilikuwa naenda shule i love pia at that time i'd i'd gotten a child you know i became a single father that around that time so it was it was just too many things going on so kidogo mziki ile you had to like prioritize what you focus on mziki kanini sasa ikaisha ah th- so that is that why you came to nairobi because i uh, that's when around the time uh, you came to university of nairobi to do yes. mascom yes i was supposed to report uh, in school uh, in september 2008 yeah. but sikuweza kwa sababu of a few personal issues i couldn't make it so i reported in uh, again in 2010 don likuja nairobi sasa kusoma uh. so 2010 around 2013 don mm. nikaanza tena mziki tena so 2013 uh, around that time though let me ask you yes. between uh, now 08 uh, le- okay let's say but 07 yes. let's not say 08 to 2010 before yes. you came to nairobi yes. did you still feel like I still can do this. Yes. This was just, you know, one of those tracks that maybe I could never make it. Yes. Did you still like you still could do it? Yes. Uh, kabisa, you know, music 
music was constant like mm. nimesema like everything ilikuwa inakami na pita ama inakami na stay but music ilikuwa ikakuwa na bado itendelea kukua so music has been a constant thing in my life imekuwa yule mse amekuwa tu around wherever in everything that i went through i went through uh, music ilinisaidia sana na ilinisaidia to overcome all those hurdles mm. so for me um, i knew that one day eventually i'm going to do music full time <coughs> you know and uh, soon itasema sasa jamaa aya mambo mengine yote kando tuingie muziki full time so mm. mipango iko i believe that i honestly believe that you can actually mm, unaweza kujilisha na unaweza kujisustain through na music muziki. in Kenya right now now 2010 yes wa UN yes. umeingia yes. music ukaanza tena yeah nikaingia nilipoingia UN of uh. course nilivutiwa na muziki sana was classmates classmates wengi kuna hoja maana anaitwa Kemboy Kemboy you know third and music uh -huh. kuna jamaa anaitwa third and music Kemboy then there is Robert and then there is Mwikamba eh tulikuwa tunasoma na wao wale so we used to sing a lot hapo kwa class before ninizi anze tulikuwa tuna jam hapo mm. quite a number of people wenye sahii wanafanya muziki mm. tulisoma na wao mm. so tuka at that time nilikuwa tunapiga muziki so guys wananiambia eh abisi record hizi tu ngoma ngoma unatuimbiaga hapa mm. at that time si kwa na psyche ya kufanya cause nilikuwa nasoma hiyo time na pia hiyo time pia nilikuwa na ulezi si unajua tena mm. so nilikuwa nashika tu masomo na kutafuta pesa kidogo muziki nilikuwa sifanyi sana nilikuwa nafanya tu nilipata chance ya kuimba na imba mm. but ukiniambia ati at that time i was making music for money it's not true mm. so 2010 hapo ndio nikaanza kusikiza you know kwanza tu kuwa ku experiment kidogo na muziki mm. nikaanza kwenda nika join band ilikuwa inaitwa the journey band na kuanga band ya university of nairobi na binti pale ufungamano mm. so that's where i used to go a lot of times just go jam there listen to the music you know na hapo ndo nilikuwa na, na hang out and that is how i fell back into music again mm. that is uh, in uh, in around 20 elections ilikuwa 2012 mm. some around that time nika meet mongol alikuwa na ana vifo cancela mm. ziwani na mongol ndo aliku introduce to rk ali introduce ko rk sasa okay yeah so rk akanisikiza kasama wo eh hii ni tunaweza fanya job about that yes. uh, your influences when you came to nairobi because you know even vilitu tumetoka kusama mm. mombasa it's like a totally different country Absolutely. even the music they absorb it's like most of it is coastal yes. influence it's na pamoja yes. na za tanzania yes. and uh, ya kenya of course unajua ni hip hop imeja yes. uh, urban and B. so when yes. you came to nairobi ni nani alikuwa na influence into the nairobi market venye nilikuja nairobi first of all watu ambao nilimit hiyo time ambao walikuwa kidogo wameanza kushi walikuwa wanashika that wenye nilikuwa napenda hiyo time ni kidumu once kwa sababu alikuwa na ndio alikuwa ametoa album yake ile aturudi nyuma i think this is his fourth album na mimi nilikuwa nimefukua nikifuata kidumu kutoka kitambo kutoka akiwa akianza mziki hizo album zote amefanya nilikuwa nimezisikiza zote zile zenye kwa sielewa anasema nini mm. so when he did aturudi nyuma i was like ah this guy i remember this kind of music my kind of music na ame you know amefika mahali yuko na wasao amemkubali then one day pia mimi nitakuja kuimba love songs nitakuja kuimba this kind of music na wasao watanisikiza na watanipatia na opportunity so kiduma that time mm. alafu kuna jamaa anaitwa Makadem Makadem sisi kule nyumbani mimi nikiwa mtoto hivi nikiishi ukunda mm. tulikuwa tunaenda kumsikiza kicheza na brother yake huko bitch alikuwa na hiyo time alikuwa na Mr Lolova ala wewe nilikuja huko nikamwita Mr ah Lolova ako zile za nani nani huyo eh akasema unanijua aje mm. so nikamu explainia venye nilikuwa tunakaa alikuwa zile za why hey, remember some kids ni mm. kids walikuwa wanapenda kuja pale wanakaka so ni ni watu wengi tu nyota ndogo you know, those people those Pro people so mm. your genre, genre uh, we define it as urban rumba urban rumba uh. napenda kuisema urban rumba because it is it, mtu akisikiza my music anaweza jua tu huyu ni mse mwenye anapenda rumba ni mse amesikiza rumba for quite a while but siku anataka kufanya rumba typical nikaona let me nice and, let me give it a funky feel mm. you know let me give it yo hiyo acha ni te, ni badiliki kidogo usi usiji usi kwame kwa njia zako kwa box Baas, eh. mm. yeah yeah nice nice so breakthrough ilikuwa uh, which track in mm. Nairobi now i have breakthrough asijapata bado mm. bado tutafuta after breakthrough <laughs> bro, <laughs> lakini <laughs> wewe mwandishi mwingine mkale sana like eh, umetoka ku perform here's the thing yeah. let me just say something as a fan first of yes. all Mwana Mwala is one of the most beautiful songs in my Kenya. Thank you brother. It's Asante actually sir. like so so dope. Asante. So how can you say that? You know, you know, break uh, the come. <laughs> I just come bad bro. Uh, like niko na watu ambao wanapenda muziki wangu sana by the Mar marafiki wasi wenye na meet wanasema eh habi tunasikiza ngamuziki zako you never know that people listen to your music until you meet them. You know so that's why I'm trying to put myself out there more. 
mm. you understand so bado breakthroughs sijapata bado at CS ma anaanza achezi vitu zingine anafanyanga apart from muziki mm. na nipate doctor kwa muziki takao najidanganya so for me breakthrough ni nikianza kupata do from music mm. na bado naendelea tuna make your step pole pole with the other very able artists in Nairobi tuna try to ku you know ku fight kuweza kuona tuko kwa hiyo place yenye at least tunapata do from our music cuz sita kudanganya wase artists wanapata wanapata shida huko nje i have so many friends ambao ni ni na nikifungulia phone yangu sasa uone most of my friends ambao ni artists wananiaja been seven na punch ni aja been seven na you know like oh, why is it like that because mziki tunafanya mziki but do i come through that is why we na wasanii tunakuanga yeye ndo sababu wana tuko passionate sana mm. about history of play kenya play kenya content like play kenya constantly mm. that is why tuko tuko passionate because we know what we are going through and we know what our friends are going through like everybody up in Kenya ako na rafiki yake relative yake ambayo ni msanii mm. na i am sure sheikh amali akasema ndio ukijana anapiganga usanii na atuoni matunda na kuna matokeo anasema hivyo na the same same people unapita kwa harusi yao ama kwa birthday yao mm. na ni relatives na hawatawahi kulipa so na kuleza hivi hadi because uh, you are also like a, a, a tv presenter yes. of grapevine actually it's uh, one of the longest running in tv uh, entertainment tv magazine shows yes. yeah yes yes as a presenter yes, what do you think it is the problem is it the content is it uh, the airplay from us the presenters so what do you think is the problem why is kenyan music not being played mm -hmm. and why are there no returns for the musicians i want i want to tread very carefully on this question because babu like na when you when you say i'm on both sides mm -hmm. i'm both on the media media side and i'm also on this the music side you understand so tukisema tukisema content tunalanganyana to say that there are no institutions that enable us ama enable ama hold presenters and media personalities accountable to play Kenyan music hakuna hiyo mm. so kuna mse aliniambia kama tutabaki tu tukipiga hii story it had died to out venye tu kuna story na trend sasa hii yeah because event, this conversation is not ita, really eh, new it has been here before people yes. are saying play key yeah so many two months later been, no very many people play have key. been yeah, very many people have been crying for play Kenyan music kina kifos mm. kutoka kitambo au ni watu wamekuwa kusema I think uh, one of our veterans nameless tried it so many times Every time, now like, even in meetings you can see the guys falling asleep si kitu ya kwanza si kitu ya kwanza si mara ya kwanza tunaanza kuongea play Kenyan but i am glad that now people ambao wako hapo juu wameanza kupiga history maze it's a big thing it's a good mm. thing for us so mi nataka tu kuongea tu kusema hata niende tu kwa ile the cliche line ya Kenya serikali bro serikali ingilie kati yeah maze <laughs> we need we need we need rules we mm. need we need stipulations to to make sure that we are we are held accountable as media personalities why aren't you playing local content mm. you know like ukiangalia hata channels zingine they even formed a uh, substations specifically for countries ndio mm. iweze ku play muziki yao kule kwa sababu kule countries zao kama ni south africa it is yani ni muziki huko south africa linacheza kwa all the time mm. you understand the same with nigeria like they play nigerian you play nigerian music Even like Rwandese, kukit, they play eh, rwandan music mpaka kuna mkta kuja kujenga eh, station huko kwao wanakuambia hapa kwetu hatai kujua nyinyi mmetoka wapi mm. but tunachezanga local Yet content mm. so you know natengeza da 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 naija da 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 kenya da 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 you know like there is there is there is a substation that caters for those artists mm. ambao wako kwa hiyo region which is which is a big thing uh, which is which is something we really need to do we do uh, but there's something you love doing yes uh, in, in, on the side of music yes. still mm -hmm. you prefer live performances absolutely yes uh, do you think uh, it's it, ikona more revenue than just being a recording artist and just going on yeah me i, I believe kama unaweza unaweza piga kwote piga uh. if you can do live music and you still can go to the studio and record good music mm. do both do both sasa mati kuna wasanii ambao wamepata pesa from live music pekee without recording nini na wanajulikana for live performances but our wasanii eventually they went back to the studio they recorded their to music record so i think yeah. inaenanga tu hivi pamoja they need to be pamoja mm. so kama kidogo you are strong on the on the live performing side but isa idingine huko strong sana jaribu kidogo u, you know ulete isa idingine juu iwe level moja kwa sababu levels. eventually you will need this other side you, so you need to be all rounded to, be to get to yes. the bag uh, <laughs> to secure the bag <laughs> yes awesome stuff yes, uh -huh. yeah. now uh, last year 
<laughs> Congratulations, by the way. In Thank October, you. <laughs> you got married. <laughs> He just this had to come. <laughs> yeah. Of course it did. Yeah. Congratulations. To thank you. Uh, juggling all these things because you you're a very busy man. Yes. Uh producer, music and TV, yes. TV presenter yes. and uh musician. Yes. How are you juggling all this? But I think it's being at the right place at the right time. Mm. Like kama sifanyi hustles, kama siko kunje na tafuta door, kama siko nini I'm always at home. Mm. Fully. Like was on Fatanga on social media to honor to like if I'm not I'm not out there doing something, Ningum Sana could parani make a mali me to lead a bigger story. It's really, really hard for me. Mm. So sometimes, most of the time, semi at I don't I never hang out with friends, I do. But I try as much as possible to have enough time at home and also enough time for my career, you know. So so priorities uh, priorities, family, work. Yes. Then maybe friends if you have time. No, I have a lot of friends. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. As yeah, in I, I know you are a very yeah. social guy. Kabisa, kabisa. So I like, you know, hooking up with a few friends, just having one or two drinks. That's a good thing. Mm. Once in a while, yes. There's another song, a beautiful song that you wrote for Kenya. Yes. I want to get into it. But before that, I want to ask you, mm -hmm. what's next for Abinguma? What should we expect? Wow. Ah, I love it. Um, Nini, um, last... The previous years, I was an assistant because I was juggling too many things at the same time. So, I was release music, I was to record music, I was to follow up na projects. But now, I was to say easy, you know. So, at least, I was going to say it So, I, now I can at least, like, because I was going to say it to pay, you know. So, uh, Niki Toka, Niki, yeah. So, um, this year, I am, I am working, I am working extra hard, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to see, uh, 24th February, I was my first event ambayo ni yangu personally enye nimepanga from scratch mpaka ime paka nifanye inaitwa the story festival mm -hmm. you know na tuna plan to kuipeleka different places you know in kisumu we want to the next place we are going to is to mombasa so we are starting in nairobi right now at the memorial park on the, 20, memorial on park the 24th, 24th february. february that's like uh, two weeks three weeks from now mm. you know uh, so wale wote za ku wale watakuwa mekasirikiwa on valentines day they can make up for it by coming to us ndio macho ndio hiyo sasa na kuja 24th eh mkikuja mimi nitafuta macho na utasamehewa umesikia abe kimba vipi so yeah 24th february guys make sure you come through as a give a brother support you know i love for every the story is gonna be uh, it's gonna be happening every two months mm. every two months in a happen two months in a that happen. is awesome that is i know so i i'm so glad my best my boys when you people yeah, support this you a, yeah this yeah. is a good thing unafanya. we want to come in on a camino come this is what we're gonna do so i believe take the first step answer you know answer mm. i like of course more content more music you know mm. more videos more projects, more collaborations. And of course, what one is a kupata, okay, more news about the event on the 24th yes. of February at Abinguma. Absolutely. That's Everywhere. A, yes, that's A double B I H mm -hmm. Nguma. Mm. Yeah. So, so make sure you go subscribe, platforms. like, follow, stalk. Share. Okay, don't stalk. He's yeah. married. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> Just follow and share the <laughs> content, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so make sure you support Kenyan music because this is just beautiful stuff. You, uh, Abby, you're about to play Kenya. Yes. This, I've always wanted to do, you know, a patriotic song. Mm. Now, every time I feel like I feel like I'm a poet. Mm. So I heard the lyrics, but I feel like i nataka poet afanye so nilikuwa so unajua mimi huandikia wase mziki so nilikuwa nime approach a few uh, 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 spoken word artists mm. nikawauliza eh, unaweza like so ako willing but they're not doing it they're not putting the flavor you want you know so nikuwa mm. sasa okay so i recorded the song actually the kitu ile ni prompt ku record kwa sababu nili kuna msiana kwa mwanajeshi alikuwa anataka kuandikiwa ngoma ya patriotism mm. lakini akashindwa kulipa Mm. Sasa uh, kufika bei. Eh kufika bei. <laughs> Sasa ikabidi mimi ni 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 ime. And this is it's it's Kenya is just ni msichana tu anaitwa Kenya. Mm. So basically at the back of my head nilikuwa nasema tu have you ever loved a chick mwenye nisumbua? Yaani msichana ni msumbufu. Mm. Like you do everything but she's she's yeah, just bado You chua. know eh but tunampenda. Mm. You know unampenda huko hapa every time una. Na ubanduki. You know, yeah. But sasa <laughs> unapenda udemu. Uh. So unasema tu anyway hizo aibu zenyewe unaniwekea tu na hizo tuzo unafanyanga mm. na hizi vitu zenyewe zina happen in Kenya you know tutakufichia siri. Mm. So I hear so nasikia waitwa Kenya umetoka East Africa. Mm. So nime I've fallen for a chick mwenye anaitwa Kenya. 
So I've fallen for my country, Kenya. Basically, mm. that's what the song is about. Guys, I'm telling you, this guy is just an awesome songwriter. Navlo meskia fika beta for that. If you really, if you want to get to that, unajua maybe you kunamto meko mama like a step flani. You know what to do. Call Abi. Na una pia kama unataka kuandika ngo mano. I don't know, do, please. Usi. You know, usi. Usi. Ali ali ada ni chukongo maka record. Just come through. At least kosa. So na sema again, Kenya, everything is negotiable. Yeah. I'll be so sad. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for having me, guys. Uh, huh. Can't wait to listen to Kenya. Studio. Yeah. Niko na niko na mic stand zuri tu apa. A very beautiful one. <laughs> mic stand in Rwanda, Jules. So, uh, this is Kenya, guys. Pindukia sema mrembo mtoto mrembo kupindukia tamani yo langu nikumlinda kila kukicha nami nikaafa maisha yangu ni mtumikie nasikia waitwa Kenya umetoka East Africa na shida zako kibao mami nitakufichia siri Nasikia waitwa Kenya umetoka East Africa na shida zako kibao mami nitakupitia siri tabasa ai 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 tabasa ebu cheki wanavyo kutizama Kuache ukizama Nitasimama nikupiganie Nije na kirende nikupiganie Mana Kenya na kupenda bure Nasikia waitwa Kenya Umetoka East Africa Na shida zako kibao mami Nitakufichia siri 